What's good YouTube, back again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna feature Jason Tatum. I have a couple of jerseys behind me, so I'm gonna show you a few jerseys. I'm actually gonna show you some Jason Tatum PEs, right? Every once in a while now, Jordan Brand's starting to give us PEs, which I think is amazing. And they so far released a couple of PEs from Jason Tatum. I actually have three, which they released to the general public. These will be PEs that Jason Tatum would actually wear himself on the court. So it's kind of dope to get some of these things that the players are actually wearing. The only knock that I have personally is none of them match his jersey. So to me, give us the PEs that he's wearing on the basketball court that matches Boston Celtics gear. It makes no sense that we get a PE colorway that absolutely doesn't match the jersey. I wish going forward, we would get more sneakers that match the jersey as far as PEs. So like LeBron gave us these Media Day 7s, which he wore for Media Day, and that sneaker you could rock with his jersey, so it just kind of makes sense. These colorways don't really make sense as far as being a Boston Celtic Jason Tatum fan, but I'm gonna show you them anyway, so there's that, all right? First thing I'm gonna show you is, um, let me show you the jerseys, all right? So this is a new jersey that we got. This was from the European store. This is an authentic Nike and it's dope. It's dope. You have your 17th patch right there. You have your Boston across and I got this for under retail. I think this came out to a total of 140 bucks. So all honesty, um, this was a great, great deal. Yeah, this is your plain classic icon edition. You have your jock tag right here. So definitely a dope, dope jersey. I mean, of course it's plain, but to have an authentic jersey for that price nowadays is a great deal. We don't get the same sales that you used to get when Nike first got the license, but to be able to cop on sale is definitely dope, all right? My favorite out the group is the Statement Edition jersey. So this one's super tough. And what I like about this one is the black. The black just brings something extra dope to a team that primarily wears their green and white traditionally. So the black is just a really nice throw off to what they usually do. And then you have the Jumpman logo and diamond etched. So that's pretty dope. 17th championship patch. This is a nice one, man. This is a really, really dope jersey. And let's be real, Jason Tatum is becoming a star in front of our eyes. I know what he's done against Brooklyn is phenomenal. I really can't wait to see what he does in the Boston vs. Bucks series because if he's elite in that series and they're able to pass the Bucks, I think the sky's the limit for the Celtics team. And I honestly think they can make the finals. Um, depending who they play in the finals, they're going to compete regardless. They have the best defensive squad. Jalen Brown, to me, is a phenomenal player phenomenal player and i don't want to degrade players by calling them batman or robin but as far as the second superstar or a second star on your team brown and tatum man they're a great one two tandem and defensively they step up and do what they got to do so this is the statement joint definitely my favorite out the three and yeah this is a good one and then last but not least we got the Jason Tatum City Edition jersey. We're keeping it kind of plain in the front. You do get a little bit of a drop shadow on the Celtics and on the number. And then you get the rubberized diamond molded Nike symbol, 17 championship on the back. And this one, uh, speaking of the back, you do get the Tatum underneath the number, which I think is super dope. And that's from the Bird era. You would see this on their warmups where they would have the name underneath the number on the warmup. So that's pretty cool. And this one's the craziest jock tag of all time. <laughs> I mean, this is nuts. But you have like every damn player retired and every championship they ever won. If you're going to represent your 75th anniversary heritage, this jock tag does it. <laughs> this one's crazy so that's the jerseys right now let's get to the sneakers so the first sneaker i'm going to show you is the jason tatum 
Olympic colorway. This is a nice colorway, very clean. Honestly, I could kind of rock it with the Mavericks jerseys. Yes, it's a Jason Tatum colorway. Would it be kind of weird to rock it with his Celtic stuff? I think so. Although we've seen, I think Jason Tatum wore this as a Celtic, but he definitely wore it in the USA games. So this is a dope one. I like the fact that they gave us Jordan 36 with Jason Tatum's name on it. All right. So you see the JT right there. Dope. Now, that's one. Another one I'm going to show you is this one. This is Welcome to the Zoo. So you see it here. Welcome to the Zoo. You see the JT here. Right? And this, you see behind the tongue, is his son's name, Deuce. So... The story behind this one is his son loves the zoo. Uh, <laughs> so they put practically every animal you could possibly put. On the front, you see the zebra stripes, maybe even tiger stripes, depending on which animal it is. You see the teeth marks, which I think is one of the dopest features of the sneaker. This sneaker is probably my favorite 34. It just looks fucking dope. All right. They put dope ass materials on this and you still get the premium um, basketball performance. So you could definitely ball in these, but you just have different animals. You have some fucking animal here, a giraffe. Then you have a leopard. Um, you have some other striped animal here. And then maybe is this a cow in the back? I don't know, man. You tell me what the hell that is. And then to top this off, you put a gum bottom on it with little hints of red. I think this is a fantastic sneaker, in my opinion. This one's dope, all right? This one's definitely, definitely dope. The 34s, I love them, man. They're dope sneaker. They're a dope silhouette, in my opinion. I fuck with the 36s, too. And they're so similar in a lot of ways, but they look different enough. So that's two right there. Let me show you the last one. So... The last one that we got for you, this is actually a kind of a crazy pickup. So I'm going downtown Brooklyn and Fulton has a Jumpman foot action store. And I've always seen these on the wall. So I said, you know what? Let me just ask them if they have any in stock. They had them in stock. I went in, they had my size. When he went to go scan it, it was 120 bucks. So it was well below retail price. It was the only one they had left in stock, All right? This sneaker is a Jason Tatum sneaker, JT on the tongue. It's a wild colorway, right? This doesn't match anything. <laughs> you do get a little bit of green here, but that doesn't really show anything. I believe this sneaker is supposed to be like women empowerment. So women in power, so his mom's. Uh, pays homage to that. As far as the colorway, I'm sure the colors mean something. The blue, I believe, was possibly his nickname. If I remember it correctly, somebody used to call him blue back in the day, and it stuck with him. And that's why you see the blue, and that's Tatum as a kid. And then you had the 98. That could be the year he was born, possibly, because he is 24 years old. So... <laughs> Yeah, this is an interesting sneaker, man. You have a bunch of crazy colors. They actually go patent leather on this. So I think that's pretty dope to add a little bit of a premium style material to a performance-based model. And then you have this wild apple green. It's a crazy looking sneaker for sure, right? Definitely is. And then on the inside, you have fear. But this is a great basketball shoe as well. So with that being said, this is the last PE that I got. Now, there is one sneaker on the way that it's not a PE for Jason Tatum, but it reminds me of a PE. So I do have the sneaker. I actually just ordered it today. It's the Jordan 36 in green and has a little bit of gold. You can say it's a Boston Celtics colorway. Who knows? It may be even an Oregon colorway. But however they want to spin it, doesn't matter. You could definitely rock it with the Celtics. So I had that colorway coming. But it reminds me 
of a Jordan 36 that he wore as well, which is um, based off of his dislike for guac. So it's <laughs> strange. He made a shoe based off his dislike for guac. But I'm going to show you both on the screen so you guys can see it. So this is the Jordan 36 Celtics that's on the way. And this is his 36 PE that's um, modeled after the guacamole. But you can see how close they are. Different green, slightly, you know, different materials. But I'm definitely going to pick up and wear the 36 with some of his jerseys in the back because that colorway definitely matches much more than the PEs that I have here. All right. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We out. Peace.